Hey guys, what's up? So I'm gonna show you guys another cool mod today and this model is called the FPS Plus mod for Minecraft 1.6.4 So are you guys having problems installing Forge? I have received a lot of messages A lot of people don't know how to install Forge. They see my tutorial. They don't know how to get it working Well, there's an alternative solution instead of using Optifine you can now use FPS Plus it enhances item lags and a little bit more I'm gonna talk about that a little a little bit in the review, but um anyways Optifine it does have a lot more features than FPS FPS Plus, just a disclaimer, FPS Plus doesn't really have that much options to help fix a, a lot of lag. It's not guaranteed though, it really does help me out. I'll show you guys some screenshots that I had like around 300 FPS, which I normally don't get. I normally get like 250, but I uh, got an extra 100 FPS using this. And even if I use the really, really low settings in Minecraft, I, I top up like 400 FPS. Anyways, if I go here to single player, and if I just create myself a new world, oh, I should have showed you that world. That world was filled with trees. So leaves actually lag everyone the most. I don't know why, but apparently see-through leaves lag everyone the most. So right now I'm on fancy and far. Just like how I normally play. I normally don't play with Optifine and stuff, but look at this. Do you guys see that I am just, like, really just looking around without any lag? I'm not sure if you guys can notice this through the video because YouTube does cut down my frame rate to 24 FPS, and plus, I'm recording at 24 frames per second, so you might not notice a difference. So if I press F3, I could show you that I have 79 FPS. I normally don't get that. I'm recording with Fraps, guys, and normally that drops me down to 30 FPS. Right now, it's at a solid 60, but normally you guys saw that it was right now at 83 FPS if I look up in the skies. So, if I press F8, I could really just show you guys how smooth this is. Again, this is fancy and far maximum settings. Oh, look, there's a doggy right here. All right, so anyways, if I press escape, go here to options, video settings, you guys can see for yourself. Max FPS is what I like it at. Uh, maximum smooth lighting, fancy and far. Now, if I change the settings, go to fast. If I go to, let's say, uh... And you know, short, because let's say I don't have a good uh, computer. Let's go here to minimum, and let's go here to max FPS like always. And you can change the moody to whatever you like, it doesn't really make a difference. And uh, yeah, this is all the settings that you normally get just in vanilla Minecraft. Though in Optifine you have a lot more uh, features, but in, in this mod it doesn't really give you the option to do uh, much other stuff. Like get real technical with your Minecraft uh, client. So you don't really get that much options installing the FPS Plus mod, but instead don't know why, but you still get a lot of FPS. I believe it's because it kind of just removes particles in general. When I break this, you do see particles, but I'm not sure exactly how they do it. But uh, for some reason, I, I still get a lot of FPS. If I press F8 or F3, you guys can see that I'm at 120 FPS. When does when when does that ever happen? When you record with Fraps, it just kills your FPS. But for some reason, I'm still recording at 113 FPS, recording with Fraps, guys. And this is amazing. So basically, this mod gives you a lot more FPS, especially for you guys who uh, need FPS. It's right now at a version 1.6.4. I'm not entirely sure if it's going to update to 1.7.2, because Forge is already at 1.7.2. And uh, I'm not sure about that. Though, you could still run around in Minecraft 1.6.4 without any lag. It does work for a server. So if you guys just join a random server, you will uh, reduce your lag. Though, I'm still wondering how they do that. Well, it doesn't really matter because I am playing with no lag. This is awesome. So, if I go back to my normal settings, let's go back to far, fancy, mass, max, uh, smooth lighting, all that stuff. Let's just go back to my normal setting. Awesome clouds. And normally, uh, there's a lot of players in Minecraft that can't play like this, which is uh, which is disappointing. But you could actually install these uh, lag-free mods that will help you out, such as Optifine and FPS Plus, and probably you could play with these settings. So there's a bunch of trees over here. Now, if I open up my LAN to allow some cheats. Now if I put in game mode 1, you guys can see that, oops, game mode 1, you can see that if I press F1, F8, I could seriously do like a world spotlight review. And normally when I review servers, I lag like crazy, and I wish I could show you guys an example. But normally when I press F8, especially when recording, you're gonna get all choppy. I'm not sure how to explain that, but you could get all choppy and it starts looking like this. Hold on, let me press F8. When you do the smooth transition, it'll look like this. Chop, 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 chop. You see? Now, uh, if you're doing a world spotlight creation review or something like that, or if you're showing off your house to your friend, you know, you can install this mod and you could seriously do some business. Just look at this. Just the rotation, the cinematic uh, toggle is just amazing. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, uh, this is basically it about the uh, mod. 
Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. I just wanted to show you guys what mod is available right now. And this is the, this is a really, really awesome mod. So I just wanted to show you guys that this mod is available for you guys who do lag in Minecraft and want to uh, fix that. You guys could try out this mod and see for yourself. Um, I'm not guaranteed that it's going to work, though. You could always try it out and see for yourself. Anyways, guys, um, there's going to be an awesome minigame video coming out with uh, myself, Sly Fox, my cousin, Jose, who always loses in the dropper, and Burn Alex. We're going to be coming out with an awesome uh, minigame, which is really cool, and it's going to be coming out the 7th and the 8th. Just to let you guys know that we're going to be pumping out content for you guys. This is just an extra video to come out today, the 5th. And uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys did enjoy this extra video. I want to live stream right now, but uh, my back is killing me because uh, I was climbing a mountain. Just believe it or not, I was climbing a mountain. It sounds funny. Uh, there's a mountain right next to my house. And uh, I was climbing it and uh, yeah, I kind of just pulled a muscle on my back and just, oh my gosh. Or probably it's my shoulder, but it's just killing me. But um, anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys... uh want to enter in a weekly giveaway be sure to click the annotation above this video where it says weekly giveaway find out some more information about that if you're a youtuber looking for a youtube partnership be sure to check out ownage network that is my youtube partnership it is amazing just to let you guys know so be sure to join that uh, check that out and also a awesome public mod pack is going to be available for you guys soon it's going to be a modded mod pack which uh, with a special launcher a special website all that great stuff i'm still thinking of a good name for a website to host all the uh, you know mod packs i'm not sure if i should call it scm owns mod pack or or ownage mod pack i don't know i'm trying to think of a creative name but uh if you're still watching this video thank you so much for watching and be sure to click that subscribe for even more content i'm going to be showing you guys a lot more videos so yeah let's go ahead and see how to install this mod this mod is very easy to install and i see a witch house at the very end over there you see that little house over there in the swamps all right guys anyways let's go ahead and see how to install this mod let's do this Alright, so let's go ahead and see how to install this mod. This mod is very easy to install, so we shouldn't have ourselves any issues. So this mod installs directly inside the modded jar. So I'll show you guys that very soon. But anyways, what you guys are going to do is get the downloads in my description or click around the annotations around this video. And you're going to get the Minecraft Forge 1.6.4 installer. And you're going to get the FPS Plus mod for Minecraft 1.6.4. So once you get the downloads, go ahead and drag it here to the desktop in which you can see it better. And let's go ahead and download Minecraft 1.6.4. You have to have that version ready in order to install Forge uh, successfully. So go ahead and run Minecraft's new launcher. Just double click it, it's very simple. So once you uh, launch this, you might have to log into your user, but what you have to do is go here to Profile, SOX Steven, or whatever your username is, go here to Edit Profile, go here and uh, select Use Version, and find Release 1.6.4. Once you found Release 1.6.4, click Save Profile, and then press Play. Then Minecraft Launcher is gonna download Minecraft 1.6.4, and it's very fast too. So anyways, here it is. So what you're going to do after downloading 1.6.4, go ahead and click quit game. So quit the game and get the downloads in my description like I've already said. Drag it here to the desktop and let's start this. So here's Minecraft Forge 1.6.4 installer. Double click that application. And uh, right here you're going to get this window saying mod system installer. Click install client, then press OK. So once you have done that, you're going to get this window saying complete. If it, if it does not say complete, then be sure to try again in 30 minutes or so because sometimes there's some problems with servers and whatnot. So anyways, press complete on that window and there you go. Now you're going to install the FPS Plus mod. So uh, what we're going to do is locate our .minecraft folder and I cannot make a launcher for this because uh, it, it requires us to do some technical work, which I'll show you guys right now. So let's install FPS Plus. You're going to go here to the bottom left corner of your screen if you guys have Windows 7 or XP. Click on Start, and you're going to search in the program file percent app data percent. So again, that is percent app data percent, the very bottom. And up here, you're going to see roaming folder. Click on that roaming folder, and you should see right here uh, the dot .minecraft in the very top. So go into that dot .minecraft folder. You're going to see a bunch of folders and stuff. What you're going to do is go here to versions, all right? So go into that versions folder. You're going to see 1.6.4 Forge. You're going to go into there. Then you're going to see a 1.6.4 Forge again, a jar this time, uh, executable jar file. So go ahead and right-click that, open with WinRAR. If you guys don't have WinRAR, be sure to Google that and get the free download of WinRAR. Or uh, you guys could use 7-Zip opener. So go ahead and open that up, the uh, 1.6.4 uh, jar for Forge. The first thing you're going to do is delete meta inf. You have to delete meta inf, even if it uh, is compressed in the forge too. You have to delete it either way because the mod uh, requires that. So delete meta inf, and there you go. Once you have deleted, you're good to go. If you cannot delete meta inf, be sure to close off Minecraft or anything running Java. So once you have done that, go ahead and double click the uh, FPS plus zip. Double click that. You're going to see some files inside that uh, FPS zip. It looks like this, and they're, they have like weird names. You're going to highlight all the. Uh, the blah, blah, blah. You're going to highlight all the classes, just like so. 
and you're going to simply drag that over into the 1.6.4 uh, forge jar. Once you have done that and replaced, just press OK and you're good to go. That is it. But wait, there's a little bit more we have to do. We have to enter in some uh, arguments in our Minecraft launcher for this to work, actually. So go ahead and exit off everything. You have installed the mod successfully, but there's one last thing you need to do. Double click Minecraft, the Minecraft launcher. Just double click it, all right? Now in my description, you're going to see this argument. Okay, you're going to copy this argument from our description, all right? You're just going to copy it. It just it just says all this stuff, all right? So once you have copied this argument in my description, you're going to go here to profile and select forge. Instead of your username, click on forge. It's going to ask you to log back in or you can just press play if you're already logged in. Go here to edit profile on forge, all right? Now go here to JVM arguments. You're going to check that off. Right here, you're going to see... Um, XMX one gig you could actually increase this to put more gig of RAM into your computer or your Minecraft client Just I put four gig and then once you copy this in the description press control V All right, that means paste or you could probably just right-click and paste. Nope. You can't so press control V Once you press control V that is the command for paste and you guys could check it and there you go You have pasted the argument successfully. All right, so once you have done that go ahead and uh, click save profile now press play once you have done that, you're going to see that uh, it should work instantly. You'll notice that the title screen is going to look very different because look at this, FPS plus, and the title screen looks completely different from uh, the normal Minecraft. Anyways, guys, if this video did help you out, be sure to smash that like button. If you guys want more tutorials, be sure to let me know what videos you guys want to see and all that other great stuff. If you're new to my channel, be sure to click that subscribe button for even more tutorials. And as always, you guys are awesome. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Peace.